What's up everyone, Erica? And me. Okay, no. You have to talk normal because I don't want to edit the okay, volume. Okay, go again. Okay. What's up everyone, Erica? And JD. No. Oh, ice. Uh, my ice? No. <laughs> Erica, why can't you just say Angie? Oh, like my scene. Like and back with another video. No. Uh, you gotta okay, tell okay, me these okay, things okay, before we start. I, I know. Like, sorry. Geez. I know. Well, I just expect you guys to be on the same wavelength and you like understand. Okay, I'm Erica and JD, and we are back today with another video for you. Okay. But don't don't go don't do this and JD and don't do this and JD. Can you be like a middle? Yes. What's up everyone, Erica? And JD. <laughs> this always takes so long. This always takes so long. How do you, that was literally. You, you know what you sound like? You sound like when people do the voice memo. You know the voicemail? Just say your name, JD. That's you. What's up everyone, Erica? And JD. Here. And we're back, back today, today with, with another, another video, video for, for you. you. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have something really fun in store for you all. I have a special guest, somebody who isn't on my channel all that often. It's been a few times now. Yeah. Uh, this is my husband JD for those of you that do not know uh, he is joining me for a video I you know there isn't an actual like significance why he's joining me I just felt like it wasn't me talking about like a lounge fly bag so I thought you know what let me ask JD if he wants to participate in this video with us with me uh, so for today's video Jen over at life joyfully done invited myself and a bunch of my other Disney YouTube friends here in the community to take part in a pie collaboration because today is Pie day pie day March 14th. So 314 yep. Pie day. I'm also gonna apologize you guys the Sun is it's really funky weather here today So like the Sun comes up it goes away. So I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit funky but uh, nonetheless, Jen invited us to be a part of this collab and I'm so excited. I think that this is something that's uh, super fun, super different. I do have a few other like cooking videos here on my channel. So if this is something that you're interested in, I will have some others linked in the description box. So again, there are so many of us participating. Everyone kind of put their own twist on it. I know that there are some not only sweet but savory pie recipes that are going to be you know, put to the test in this collab. So don't forget to check everyone else out. They will all be listed in the description box. But do you know what we're making today? Hocus Pocus Scorpion Pie. Yes, yeah, that's pretty much like the idea. So in case you guys don't know, I'm a big fan of this little movie. Maybe you heard of it. Hocus Pocus, ever heard of it? If you've been with me for a while, you know, huge fan of Hocus Pocus. So uh, in the group, I don't, I'm so sorry, forgive me. I don't remember who suggested this, but they were like, Erica, you love Hocus Pocus. Why don't you do a Hocus Pocus inspired pie? And I was like, that's the winning ticket right there. In the movie, if you guys recall, Mary suggests we form a calming circle. And while they're in their calming circle, you know, Mary says, mommy, scorpion pie, mother. You remember that, Erica, roll the clip. Think soothing thoughts. Rabbit bat. Yum, yum. Black death. <laughs> Mummy scorpion pie. <gasps> Mother. So with that, I'm gonna be making a scorpion pie. But you know what? We I'm not a fan of scorpion. JD's not a big fan of scorpion. So we are going to be making a jello, like a chocolate pudding pie. And uh, we're gonna put some sort of scorpion twist on it. So be sure you stay tuned to the end to see how we achieve that. I like scorpion king. The Rock. <laughs> well, that has nothing to do with what we're doing today. The Rock, you're just trying to bring The Rock into any and every video you can think of. I Scorpion. You said I don't like scorpions, but I like Scorpion King. Okay, eating them. I should have specified you don't like eating scorpions. 
So we're gonna be showing you guys the process of us making it from the instructions. It sounds like it's a fairly easy pie to make. So the recipe does show you how to make it from scratch. We are not doing that today. So uh, we went ahead and went with, did you, did you pick this up? No, no, I don't. <laughs> This pie crust played me, you guys. We're at the grocery store yesterday and she's picking out a pie crust. And I turn around and one comes down and then I probably like seven or eight just. It was so high went, too, so it's. Yeah, like... but you have never said, oh no. What did you say? No, I did the. Ah! I do like a really deep scream when I get scared. It was like I was watching a TV show. Like yeah, because they were kind of up high, so they like all kept falling on me. Anyway, I grabbed the one that wasn't broken, and uh, this is what we have here. So it is a walnut pie crust. I, it is like a regular pie crust, but just, I think, like crushed up walnuts mixed in, so it sounded good. We This is the easier route. We did not want to get all up in making it from scratch, so if you want to, I will have the full recipe linked. Next up, you're gonna need some instant jello chocolate pudding. Uh, I messed up and I got the bigger sizes of them. The instructions specifically say to get the smaller size, but you know, you know, you know me. Can't read, can't follow instructions to save my life. Next up, you're going to need some heavy whipping cream along with some Cool Whip. And then for the topping, you're going to need some powdered sugar. And for the scorpion itself, I went ahead and cut out a little stencil template of a scorpion on my Cricut. You can do the same thing if you just want to trace one out. If you don't have a Cricut, you can obviously just trace it, cut it. And we are going to be placing this over the whipped cream topping and then sprinkling some Hershey's cocoa powder over to, you know, make it look like a scorpion pie. So let's do it. All right, you guys, so as I previously mentioned, I bought the incorrect size of chocolate pudding, so I'm gonna measure it out. It calls for two 3.4 ounces. Math is hard. <laughs> And we're doing this on pie day. Okay, so almost seven ounces. JD's a whiz, guys. Whiz kid over here. So, filling in a stand mixer, which by the way, you can't really see it, but we're using my KitchenAid mixer because we're bougie. Just kidding, this was a gift for my grandma. And uh, we like hardly ever use it. So we're gonna use it today and fool you guys into thinking we're like bakers all the time. So in a sand mixer, combine the pudding mix and heavy cream with an electric mixer until well blended. All right, let's go ahead and mix this up here. Let's lock this in. I'm gonna do it slow first. Right now we're just mixing it until it's well combined in the mixer because that's what they told us to do. Once it's combined, we're gonna add in the cool whip. Okay, that's looking pretty combined to me. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the cool whip. I was telling JD that like I was real big into chocolate pudding, like when my mom would make it. But you said your parents never made it for you? Uh, I don't think so, we just got the... Snack pack? Yeah. Gryffindor spatula, great. I have to do a Slytherin spatula, like a chum. This is thick. Like I was wondering how it was gonna turn into like pie filling. I'm just kind of scooping it and moving it around just to make sure everything is doing what it should. Okay, now I think literally all we do is put it in and then I think after that, we literally let it sit for four hours and then we eat it. This is what it's looking like, guys. Honestly, it's not looking very appealing like on camera, but believe me, it tastes real good. All of that's gonna go in there? I guess, that's what it says. My bad, Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, does that look more appealing now, you guys? Probably not. 
have some more sloppy <laughs> I made it extra sloppy for you. Who's that, guys? If you guys know who that is, leave it in the comments. You're doing pretty good. Okay, see, it's just gonna spread out, I think. This is so satisfying right now. Let me try it. Okay. Okay, don't break the crust though. Like, scoop some and like slap it on. Right? It got your aggressions. <laughs> I don't understand this. You think maybe she requested like a bigger pie crust? No, like the one that it, she made? I mean, pies do that, right? They Don't they have some that go up, like up? Yeah, yeah, I guess, but this is a ton. Yeah, I wouldn't put all of that. Okay. Well, it, the problem is I like putting it on, so now it's like I need to just stop myself. Because look, there isn't even that much left. Okay, now... I've officially put it all on here. You guys can really, yeah. You guys can really see I piled it on like real high. So now is the moment of truth. We gotta let it sit for four, at least four hours. So. You don't do the scorpion yet? No, I'm gonna do that like before it's time to eat. So let's go ahead and pop this in the fridge and we will see you guys in four hours. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsor. All right, so it's officially been over four hours since we let the pie sit in the fridge and we are moving on to the stencil. So here it is, as you guys can see, I did have a circle, like I did trace the pie crust, but I didn't need it to be crazy perfect, just as long as the scorpion is pretty much in the center. So next I'm gently pressing the more intricate parts of the stencil down into the pie filling. If you guys notice, we didn't end up using the powdered sugar because we did not make the whipped cream frosting. We thought the pie was piled on high enough. <laughs> so here I'm using a spoon to lay the cocoa powder over the stencil and I'm just evening it out with my finger before I lift the stencil. Here I have it sped up a little bit, but just be gentle with it, really take your time. All right, you guys, this is the finished result for our little uh, mommy scorpion pie. What do you think? Looks great. Looks great. The little uh, chocolate cocoa powder with the stencil kind of got a little sloppy. I do think it was the best option though, other than having like, I don't know, a mold to make something, like, a, like making an actual scorpion or something of that sort. So. You know, I did the best I could. We are gonna cut into this, but we are waiting until we put Juliana to bed so she doesn't, you know. Oh, you want, should we cut it now? Just tasting. Okay. okay, excuse me. Yeah. Is it good? That is going to do it for our pie day collaboration. Please let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed uh, JD in the video, uh, just this kind of content. Please don't forget to check out everyone's videos in the description listed down below. But for now, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And we'll see you on the next one. Nope. And I hope to see you back for the next one. Bye. Just try it. I just don't want my face in it. Vance Fang? Oh my god, the glam Winifred. Sisters? Sing! I have it right. I hope to see you back on the next one. For no, but for now, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And I hope to see you back on the next one. Bye. Bye. Four. Next one. On the next one. Uh, okay, good enough. Good enough.